Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to um, perform a password recovery on the uh, Cisco router. Okay, so uh, password recovery um, basically uh, is a way um, to get into the router without a, a knowing the password. Right? If you forgot your password, um, this is how this is the uh, procedures that you will take uh, to get uh, access to your um, router again. So let's um, do a um, Let's uh, fire up a um, router in the packet tracer. We're going to use packet tracer for this uh, demonstration. Uh, the uh, doing it on a physical equipment is very similar, right? Uh, and uh, let's open up the CLI on the packet tracer. This is the initial configuration dialog, right? Uh, and we're going to say no. Uh, enable mode. And we're going to just do some basic um, configuration, right? So we're going to do uh configuration we're gonna give it a console password right so let's say password cisco and uh login right and uh we are going to give it an enable password as well let's use enable secret uh enable secret uh class let's see right and uh we're gonna give it a uh a uh this is going to be setting the enable password, right? The enable secret, right? So um, what is going to happen now is uh, when we exit out of the console and when we want to come in again, okay, when we want to access, before we can access, we actually need to supply the line password, right? And uh, when we want to access the uh, uh, privilege access mode, right? By typing enable, uh, it's also going to prompt us a, a password of class, right? So we're enter class C L E S S and uh, before we can get access to the privilege access mode. So when you when you look at the um, running config, right, you can actually see things like your right, the password is being set and uh, we can also see that the enable secret is also set. Right, this is in the hash form. Okay, so um this is uh, not persistent. Uh, it's only in the running configuration. Uh, it's only stored in the running configuration. So to make it persistent across reloads, we need to actually copy the running config to startup config, right? And uh, from here on, when we do a reload, right, uh, it is going to uh, prompt. Once the uh, router comes on, uh, it is going to prompt us uh, for a password. Right, it's going to prompt us for a password. This is the line password, so this is Cisco. And uh, to get access to the uh, enable mode, we actually need to type in the enable secret, which is class. Right, so um, we protect our line, uh, uh, our console line, okay, with a password. We protect our privilege access mode with a password. Now, setting a um, line password and uh, uh, is protects the um, the router somewhat from uh, unauthorized access, but uh, uh, what uh, is what you need to understand is that if the attacker has uh, physical access to your system, he can actually bypass the whatever password that has been set on your uh, router. So um, he can actually do uh, the password recovery, which I'm going to show in this video, and uh, through the password recovery, he can actually get access to um, your router, right? So um, uh, before I show you the uh, actual password recovery, um, I want to show you this uh, register which is being set on your router. Okay? So you key in show version. Okay, when you look at the output of show version, which shows things like the uh, Cisco iOS version, okay, and the uh, hardware information, okay, the uh, the hardware information, the memory information. Uh, right at the end, you're going to see this configuration register value. Right, this uh, configuration register value. So um, this is what you will need to manipulate uh, to uh, perform a password recovery on Cisco routers. Let's um, head over to a browser and uh, do some research on the configuration register. 
So I've opened up a browser and uh, let's just look for Cisco Configuration uh, Register, right? So um, if you search for Cisco Configuration Register, let's try the first link that comes up. Okay, so this is Cisco documentation. So you can see what the different register values actually mean. Right, so we had uh, 2102 as the default uh, just now, as you can observe in the uh, in the um, packet tracer. And what this means is that it actually ignores the break. It boots into uh, ROM if the initial boot fails. Uh, and the uh, baud rate that it, use is, that it uses is 9600 console baud rate. Now, um, so uh, as I mentioned, we will be... Um, uh, manipulating this value uh, to bypass the uh, the uh, startup config. Okay, so let's see how we are going to do it now. Now, how we're going to um, set the uh, config register is to get into the ROM mode, mode right? So we need to uh, reload the um, reload the uh, router and get into the ROM mode, which is a minimal iOS, uh, more for troubleshooting purposes, uh, and uh, to do that. Uh, we need to reload the uh, router, so the command is to reload. And as the router is uh, booting up, uh, what you actually need to do is to do a control C on the packet tracer. On the real equipment, uh, the, the 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 brick that you send to get into the ROM uh, ROM on mode, uh, the first it depends on your uh, computer hardware. It dep depends on the the uh, terminal emulator that you're using, right? Um, but uh, for packet tracer, um, it's just Control C as the your router is booting up. Now, of course, you will not be able to issue this um, command, right? Uh, if you do not have the uh, access to the uh, router, let's say um, the router is currently uh, locked, locked out from the console, and you do not have um, the access to the console uh, to enter the reload command. What you can do is to power off and on the device, right? Um, you, if you have physical access to the equipment, right, you can always go to the on and off button, right, uh, which is here, right, and turn it off, and then turn it on again, right? So as you turn it on, as the uh, router is coming up, do a control C, right, and you can see that it breaks into um, the uh, run mon mode. Right, uh, as I mentioned, this um, this is where you can uh, manipulate the uh, config uh, register. Right, so um, what you're gonna do here, right, uh, is going to, you're gonna you, uh, you can see what the commands that is available by doing a question mark. Right, so uh, you can see um, it is actually a minimal set of uh, uh, instructions that you can uh, give the uh, router. So uh, what you uh, going to do here is to set the uh, config register, right? You're gonna do the, you're gonna set the config register to this value called uh, two one four two, right? And that's it, right? Uh, so once you have set um, this value, okay, what uh, you're going to uh, do is to give it a reload. Uh, sorry, not reload. You can see here, reset, system reset, right? Okay. Now uh, let's wait for the router to boot up. Now, as you can see, once the router boots up, uh, the it no longer prompts you for the console password. It just goes straight into the initial uh, configuration dialog. Okay. So and uh, you do not need a you actually do not need a enable secret to get into privilege access mode. Now is the uh, startup config there? Let's check. As you can see, the startup config is present. It's just being ignored, right? Let's show startup config, and um, as you can see, I have my settings here: password Cisco, and uh, I have my um, enable secret followed by this hash password. So what the user, uh, what the attacker? Uh, is able to do is to then, uh, you know, if let's say your password is, uh, you know, I'll be able to see the clear text password. Uh, even if it is a, a, 
protected by service password encryption uh, as I have shown uh, in the previous uh, videos that uh, it is trivial to retrieve uh, passwords that are uh, protected by enable secret uh, sorry uh, that is protected by service password encryption so even if um, for this uh, encrypted password mode sorry uh, for this uh, enable encrypted password such as the enable secret what you can do uh, is to do an offline password attack as I have shown in previous video and um, get uh, crack this password to get hold of the original password 